So today's video is something that I haven't done in a while and you guys are going to get ready with me. I thought I would just turn my camera on as I'm actually getting ready for something today and we can like talk and watch it together. Not watch it, you watch it. I'm gonna talk and do my makeup. <laughs> So tonight's actually an advanced screening for the cast of the Hulu show that I did, Freakish, which comes out on October 10th. Mark your calendars. So um, I want to look presentable. Right now I'm actually really, really, really heavily breaking out and I just went to my dermatologist and they're like debating putting me on Accutane. So because I've been breaking out lately, I've been, I don't know, I feel like I've been inspired to like actually try to do a little bit more makeup because I feel like I need to wear it. So yeah, shall we get started? Where's my primer? Hey, no one's in. Are you in here? Yeah, you are. So as everyone kindly likes to remind me on beauty break, I'm not a beauty guru, which I know. My body's a lot darker than my face right now, so we're gonna need to correct that too. Hashtag spray tan life. So I'm gonna start by priming my face. And I also like highly prime my breakouts because primer like fills in, or this primer like fills in your pores and stuff. So I think if I have like uneven texture from a zit, the primer kind of smooths it out. I also put this under my eyes because my eyes crease so much. Also, I have this thing underneath my eye, which a makeup artist told me was a Chalazion, which that name in general is just fucking amazing. It's not a sty. The dermatologist said it's a cyst, but she's like not worried about it. So I'm like, I guess I won't be worried about it, but it's weird. Okay. Ah, I just realized I forgot my microphone. I'm gonna put that on now. So the audio quality is about to get a lot better. Okay, I hope that's better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, let's get that stuff out of teeth. Uh-huh, it's my turkey burger from lunch. I love that. Zip this down to see the color of my neck compared to the color of my face, which is pretty different. I'm gonna mix a couple of different foundation shades to match to my body. I'm gonna be using a foundation that I am obsessed with. As you guys know, I ha literally have like so many of these. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, and I love this so much. I've talked about this so much. I've talked about it on Snapchat. I get so many comments on my Instagram pictures, like what foundation that I'm using. It's always this one. This one is literally my favorite foundation for like daytime stuff and for nighttime stuff, and it's so hard for me to find a foundation that I like that looks really good in pictures as well as like looks good during the day. So because we're going to a screening, I want it to like look good as I'm going through my day and like hanging out outside in the sunlight. But then when I go into a dark room, it still looks good. And then when they take flash photography in said dark room, I don't have like that like white cast underneath and the concealer, which I'm also obsessed with, doesn't do the white cast underneath in pictures either. It's just perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna combine a couple shades. We'll do 2.1 and a pump of 2.2. And it doesn't oxidize, which is basically when orange or like the color gets darker as like you wear it. It doesn't do that. So the color you put on is the color you're gonna see, which that's what I like. So I just start by dotting it on my face, making sure to hit those breakouts. I'm gonna blend this into my neck. Mm -hmm. oh, see, little nugget. Yeah, there you are. Great. Now I'm gonna conceal my under eyes and for that I use the Smashbox Studio Skin Waterproof Concealer in light neutral and light warm. I love this concealer and because it's waterproof, it like legitimately is not kidding. It lasts through anything and I have horrible allergies. Like I have horrible allergies all the time, not just like in a specific season. I think I'm allergic to at least one thing every season, except Christmas, never allergic to Christmas. We'll do some here too. Why not? Let's go big cause I'm at home. And then I go in with light neutral as well. So many screenshots of my face like this. Set that, bake that, whatever you want to call that. I also use the same wet beauty blender for this. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. This is what happens when I watch too many makeup videos on Instagram. Now I'm going to go in again with the light warm concealer and conceal my breakouts. This one on my lip right here, it's giving me this like nice fake lip injection look, which showed me, boy oh boy, do I not want lip injections ever. I like to let my concealer kind of sit on my blemishes for a minute or so, that's a lie, not even like a minute, maybe a minute, like 30 seconds or something, just to get it a little bit more tacky. I feel like it does good coverage, especially when I'm like spot concealing and things like that. I also make tea in my giant mug that says it's a wonderful time of year. It's getting me very excited for Christmas. And pat it in. I'm going to powder my face. 
Gonna set all that that's not currently being baked. Yamazing. Because I am hypersensitive about my skin breaking out in like a insecure kind of way, which I know I shouldn't be because everyone's skin breaks out, which is why I decided to film this while my skin was breaking out. I kept holding off until I felt like it was better. But then I was like, you know what? That's so dumb and stupid and like setting an unrealistic standard for people and what their skin should look like. So like I'd rather just film it when it looks crappy and be like, hey, it's okay if your skin looks crappy too. So moral of the story. I am going to cover these a little bit more with a colored powder. That makes me feel better and that's what I care about. <laughs> so while this is still baking, I'm gonna add some bronzer. Honestly, this point is where I would like take my shirt off and be completely naked and make sure I blend everything very accurately. Yes, I do do my makeup naked, but I'm not gonna do that now because I'm on camera. I like using this kind of brush. I don't know why. I'm gonna go in and contour. So cool tone shade. And then I blend into the hairline. Again, I have no idea why I do that. I just see other people do it. So that's where I put mine. I have this love-hate relationship with my round face because it makes me look young, which gets me cast in roles where I play 17 year olds like Zoe Parker, Freakish, Hulu, October 10th. <laughs> just shameless plug. And blend. Now I'm gonna go in and brush away all the baking kind of stuff. And with that, I like to use this like yellowy shade right here. I just feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I was gonna do my eyeshadow before I did that. Whatever, it happened. Then I'll use this one to brush off this. Woo! So for my eyeshadow, what do I wanna do? I really don't know. Okay, let's start with the bronzing shade. And I'll put that on a fluffy brush and just work that through my crease. I'm gonna go on a smaller little brush into this taupey shade. Put that through the crease too. I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush back into this shade. Lighten that up. And I'm gonna go into this cream shade. We're gonna put that under here. I'm gonna go in with this sable shade, which is like a dark brown. Put it on like the outer third. Guys, I have wrinkles on my forehead. I'm legitimately debating already getting Botox. Am I crazy? Don't tell me if I have wrinkles, but tell me if I'm crazy for wanting Botox like now. Also, this eyebrow is lower than this eyebrow. Oh my God, why did I just discover this? Oh, I need to stop staring at myself in mirrors. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this like cute pinkish and I'm going to put that on my eye lid. I feel like I got kind of discouraged with makeup videos for a while because there's just people who are just so much better at 23, finally starting to realize that like you don't need to be the best at anything to still do something. That's so pretty. And now I'm gonna go into, it's like a dark reddy burgundy. Yeah, it looks fun. I'm actually kind of nervous to um, see the show tonight. We're only seeing two episodes out of the 10. My opening scene is a little raunchy. So, I don't know, just like, I just am so critical of myself, but I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go on to blush. This one's new. It's like this peachy, oh, that's so nice. I'm currently obsessed with highlighters, so I'm probably gonna use like 11 of them. I blame Jaclyn Hill. Now I'm gonna use another one. I just like it like that. Okay. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Brush those babies up. I feel like it'd kind of be fun to do a little bit of a QA. and a I'm gonna go on Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat at itmega. And ask you guys to tweet me questions and I'll answer them while I film this right now. Let's add a pretty filter. If you were a cookie, what kind of cookie would you be? Like a salted caramel, like a little salty. Like some sort of one that you're like, ugh, that's so annoying. Someone asked me what do I do when I'm bored out of my mind. I don't know, this sounds, this is gonna sound really mean, but like I think boredom comes from laziness. And I think being bored is just like such a total choice. There's so many things to do. There's so many other things to start. I do something when I'm bored, be productive. So I'm gonna go with bronze, smudge that under my lower lash line. Someone asked my favorite thing about fall. My favorite thing about fall is the baking and the cooking. And I definitely got some in my contacts too. Ugh, I feel like we're good. No, that's a lie. I wanna contour my nose a little bit because despite the fact that I had a nose job, I still like to contour my nose. Another person said, how often do you run into people that you don't wanna talk to and how do you internally react? Daily interactions with people are like stressful and exhausting no matter what. And then people I don't wanna see, I'm just like, and internally I die a little bit inside. Katie just asked what she should binge watch on Netflix. I would say My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I just binge watched that. It's like a musical about a girl who moves from New York to West Covina. And it's just so funny because I went to college right by West Covina. So like they just picked the most like random place ever. I don't know, it's very well done. It's very funny. I'm not usually a huge fan of musicals. Blame it on the fact that I was scarred as a kid. I did too many of them. I'm gonna go in with mascara. You're not really supposed to put mascara on lash extensions, but they're almost all out. And I have an appointment, so I'm just gonna put it on anyway. Way. Anyways, as I was saying, that was my phone. Is it weird that I feel like I look British when I wear a middle part? That's like half the reason why I wear a middle part.
follow me on social media too, like Instagram and Twitter and that stuff. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye!